Hi Pipers, Count all here. And uh, what you're looking at is about a gallon and a half of brine solution. And uh, a little salt, a little brown sugar, a little pickling spices. Matter of fact, here's all our ingredients here. Uh, kosher salt, brown sugar, some peppercorns, pickling spices, and sodium nitrate. And what we're getting ready to do here at the Calendoral residence is we're going to make some corned beef. And right here I have about a 17 pound brisket, trimmed it up, put a few peppercorns on it, and uh, fixing to pour the brine solution on it. And what you have to do is you let it brine for eight days. So, and then every two days you go in and, and flip it over. So, uh, we're getting ready to do this for St. Patrick's Day coming up. And when I put the brine on it, I'll be back and we'll uh, get it ready to refrigerate. All right, Pipers, we got the beef brisket in the the uh, brine solution. Looks all comfortable. We just let him sit there and soak for about seven days, eight days. And uh, take it out and boil it for about an hour and a half. And I'll tell you what, you got some of the best corned beef you've ever ate. So um, I uh, will kind of go through the process. Uh, really easy, a little kosher salt, a little brown sugar. Uh, I've used the uh, whole pepper corns, a little pickling spice, and some sodium nitrate to, uh, to pink colored salt there to make the, the uh, brisket pink. If you don't use the sodium nitrate and you just uh, use the kosher salt, it'll actually make corned beef. It'll just be brown. It won't be that pink color uh, that's traditionally associated with it. So. I uh, will uh, we'll make some follow-up videos, and uh, when we boil this thing out, we'll, uh, we'll show you some of the corned beef. I actually had to trim off part of it because it wouldn't fit, and what I'll do with this little small one on the end is I'll take that, and I'll cut up some and, and cook with the cabbage for uh, St. Patty's Day. So, from the Calendar House, we'll uh, do some updates, but uh, this is what we're doing to get ready for St. Patrick's Day, making some homemade corned beef. Well, Pipers, Colonel Doyle coming to you from the pipe patio in the dismal winter shape. We do have one little uh, camellia there blooming, so I've uh, got a little color. But I uh, thought I'd just kind of finish up on my preparation for St. Patrick's Day. It's kind of nice here today. It's about 70 degrees and a little, over, a little cloudy, but not bad. The sun's peeking through it once in a while. I'm sitting here and I'm smoking my uh, Savinelli autograph, I mean signature, I always want to say autograph, and smoking some McBaron's Navy Flake. So, I was uh, texting with Big Smoking Wolf a little earlier and uh, he, I, he was talking about it. I don't know if he was smoking it or not, but he definitely was talking about it and I hadn't smoked it in a while, so I said, well, let me go give it a try. But want to kind of just follow up on what we do here for St. Patrick's Day. One of the things, one of our long-standing traditions is we always watch The Quiet Man. And it's not a per se, uh, you know, it's not a per se St. Patrick's Day movie, but it's set in Ireland, and, it, and it's a real good movie. And uh, I, uh, it's something just we just watched. So this year we went ahead and bought this 60th, I think it's called, it's a 60th, anniversary edition DVD so we'll take hook this up to the the big screen and we'll watch this and we're going to add another one this year and uh, that's uh, Darby O'Gill and the Little People I uh, don't know if you've ever watched this uh, but uh, it's uh, about the uh, it's got the king of the leprechauns in it and you know just a real good uh, real good little old family movie got Sean Connery at a real young age you know so uh but uh, if you hadn't seen it, I'd, I would recommend it. I'd recommend them both highly, you know. I think this is one of John Wayne's best uh, movies, one of the best movies he ever did. And Marina Harris plays, does an excellent, excellent role in it as well, uh, set in a small town in in, uh, in Ireland. So, uh, but that's what we'll do. And uh, here's my lineup for St. Patrick's Day. Got all my green pipes. Got my two... These here on the bottom, uh, this Ben Dublin, is uh, uh, Molina, and then I have this 
<clears throat> probably three quarter bent or nah, more half bent uh, Molina pipe and it's green too I don't know if it comes in well and then I have this bent uh, Molina and then I have a a falcon that I smoke uh, all for St. Patrick's Day and uh, this year I decided to add one more to it and um, I uh, purchased a uh, 2014 St. Patrick's Day Peterson pipe. I uh, don't know exactly what the the number is on this one, but I do know it was an XL. It's one of the things that I have trouble with sometimes when I buy Petersons. You know, I like a bigger bowl pipe, <clears throat> and uh, some of them are not as big as what I think they're going to be when I order them. But I uh, really like this. It's got the band on it. It's got 2014 St. Patrick's Day, and a uh, nice stem on it. It's, uh, it's not the P-lip, which I don't really particularly care for either uh and then it's got a nice little green marble finish on the top so uh i think we'll uh we'll wait and we'll give her uh the first bowl on saint patrick's day uh do a little break in on that and uh be smoking the other ones during the day so but uh that's what we'll be doing we may go out and catch a saint patrick's day parade here in in baton rouge and uh i think it's on saturday which just coincides to happen to be my my oldest daughter's birthday, who will be 23 this year. So, uh, but uh, then we'll come home and you know we'll have some corned beef and uh, homemade corned beef, and we're going to do corned beef and cabbage and corned beef sandwiches on rye with uh, Swiss cheese and uh, maybe a little jalapeno mayonnaise, kind of kick it up a notch, and. Uh, then we'll, we'll we'll settle in and, and, and watch our movies. But uh, like I said, it's always been a tradition for us, this quiet man on St. Patrick's Day. And I uh, just thought I'd kind of share that with you. And I uh, hope everybody has a real good St. Patrick's Day. Whatever you do, whatever your traditions are, uh, if you don't have a movie tradition, I would highly recommend uh, either one of those movies. So till next time, guys, everybody just keep them lit, keep them smoking. <laughs>